Hello everyone. Thank you for checking out today's video. In this one, we're going to be covering how to set up view rules on ServiceNow. Now in the previous video, we went in and I showed you guys how to create a custom view on ServiceNow. So please check for that video in the description if you want to know how to, how to do that. But what we did is we created this one called YouTube Test. Now we don't have a rule in place for users to be navigated to this view. Right now they're going to fall in the default view or if maybe they changed it to one of these other views, they're going to fall on that one. So maybe they changed it to like metrics or ITAM workspace. They're going to fall on those views. But let's say for any new user going forward and any, well, actually what this would do, th there's a downside to this because when we add in this view rule, it's not even going to give them the option to select different views, or at least it shouldn't. So what she would want to do is you want to come over here to, actually, first thing we'll do is we'll go to views because we need to get the name of the view that we're going to use. So under system UI, click on views. And then the one that we just made, so let's go to updated. And the one we just made is called YouTube test. So it's YouTube underscore test. So from here, let's go to view rules. All righty. And let's see if there's already one on the incident table. There's not, okay. So let's create a new view rule. So when you click on new, you have to go ahead and set your name. So we'll do set incident browser view, or just do set incident browser because you're already on the view rules. So that's redundant. Um, and then we'll go ahead and select table. Okay, those are good. And then we have to put the name of the view. So remember what it was? It was YouTube underscore test. Now you have to match those conditions. And what we want our conditions to be is, let's say, let's select a category, I guess. Can we do category? There we go. Let's say the category is software. Now, if the category is software, it's going to force people to that YouTube test view, or at least it should. So we're going to test out our theory here in a moment. Okay, so we're good there. So let me go ahead and open up the incidents list view and category. So we have software. This one is not software. So let's go ahead and click on this one and see what happens. See what view we're in. So right now we're in the default view. Okay, that's good. Now, if we go over to this one, because we just set a view rule for it and it's software, it should put us in the YouTube test view. And it is. So look at that. So what's going on here though, is it locked down the view. So no one could go in and they could change this view. They're forced to sit in the YouTube test view, uh, at least when they're accessing it from a browser. Now, if you wanted to, you could set it up for mobile and tablet. Looks like there's not an option to do all three, but yeah, you can either do browser, mobile, or tablet. And once these conditions are met, then it's going to force them into that view. So I'm sure you guys could probably find all sorts of um, scenarios where that would make sense, where you can go ahead and set the um, set the default view. Now, I had a use case recently where the user wanted the new form. So it was the idea form. They wanted the idea form for new records to look different than the one for existing records. So for new records, they wanted to remove like three or four different fields. And then once the record has been created, then those fields appear and then they could fill them out. So I'm sure there's other ways to do this. Like I probably could have hid those fields using a client script. And, you know, they just wouldn't have shown up on, um, on the new form. But what I decided to do is I just went ahead and created a view rule for new um, for new records. And then I also created one for existing records. So again, probably would have been much easier to just create a client script and hide them that way. But like everything on ServiceNow, there's more than one way to do something. So now that I think about it, I might actually go back in and just use that client script instead because that's a little bit easier. And in case there ever were other views that users wanted to use on the idea form, they're not able to do it now because I ended up setting that view rule. So yeah, you're always, always thinking of different ways to do things. That was just for whatever reason, I thought that was the best way to do that at that time. But 
Um, yeah, you could also probably do it through a, a business rule. So you could check to see if it's a new record. If it's a new record, then you would hide those fields, uh, make them not mandatory, you know, do whatever you have to do. So that's uh, that's an option. You could also set up a UI policy. So that's an option as well. So there's a lot of different ways you could do things. Um, I just, for some reason, chose the, the, the view rule to go about it that way. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one very soon.